The conflict in Ukraine has been called the first ever TikTok war. Every day, hours of video footage emerge from the front line showing the intensity of the fighting that's taking place. And both sides are using the internet for propaganda. But it's also being used for espionage too. And one area that's being exploited is perhaps the oldest trick in the book, the honey trap. Ukraine has used it to trick Russian soldiers into revealing sensitive information. And this was one way they did it, through the dating app Tinder. One Ukrainian woman set up several Tinder profiles and managed to contact 70 Russian soldiers, who then gave away their locations. That information was then passed on to the Ukrainian intelligence services. Ukrainian hackers have also used Telegram to lure Russian soldiers into sending off-duty photos. These were then used to locate their base, which was then hit in a targeted strike. According to this report by the Henry Jackson Society, in the first month of the invasion, 260,000 Ukrainians used this government app to inform on Russian troop movements. The app's e-enemy function allowed ordinary people to report what they were seeing, information that could then be used by Ukraine's military to target those Russian positions. Now, Ukrainians have also been encouraged to join this dating app, which is very popular in Russia, and then use their profiles to tell Russians about the war. There's also been reports that MI6 used the LGBTQ dating app Grindr to track Russian troop movements. Vladimir Putin banned that app in 2013, but British spies reportedly tapped into it and passed the information to Ukraine. The Russians have also cracked down on their soldiers' use of mobile phones in the occupied parts of Ukraine and taken quite dramatic action to try and stop it. But back in Russia, they have less control. This Russian submarine commander, Stanislav Rosicky, was shot dead while running through a park in Krasnodar. Now, it's thought Ukrainian intelligence tracked him down from the runs and cycle rides he posted on the exercise app Strava. But Ukraine has also fallen foul of this. In one case, Russia's FSB intelligence agency used a young woman to entice a Ukrainian man into taking covert photos of a military base. And in November last year, Russia launched a phishing attack targeting more than 1,700 military personnel. Most of the attacks were blocked, but on one device, they managed to gain access to a soldier's signal account. On it, he was talking to other Ukrainian soldiers about a gathering they were planning, the date and the location. The Russians later launched a missile strike, killing 30 of them. Artificial intelligence AI is another area both sides are trying to exploit. This report says AI tools are being used to build detailed dossiers on individuals. Researchers for the Alan Turing Institute demonstrated that AI agents could gather open source intelligence, OSINT, and use it to build personalized phishing emails, messages that were so good and believable that even the most trained soldiers could be deceived. Thanks for watching. For more from BFBS Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.